Bills fans have been doing a lot of complaining about a guy that could have been playing for this team that's playing in the Super Bowl. Now let's talk about some guys who did play for this team who are going to be playing for a ring on Sunday. Welcome to Believer's Talk. My name is Joe and welcome to this Super Bowl edition of Believer's Talk where we take a look at the Super Bowl tomorrow, Super Bowl 54 between the 49ers and the Chiefs and talk about some of the players who, from, uh, in this game and coaches who used to be part of this Buffalo Bills organization. Again guys, thank you for joining me. My name is Joe. If you're new to this channel, you want to go ahead and hit that subscribe button after you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell as we keep you updated on all Buffalo Bills news. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, like this video, give it a thumbs up, and go ahead and leave a comment. After I read some of these names, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about some of these names. Some of them, we all know, household names on this list, right? But some of them are guys that we might have never heard about even when they played or when they were in Buffalo. And again, we are going to talk about players and coaches in this episode who, well, both have a chance tomorrow in Super Bowl 54 to get themselves a Super Bowl ring. So again, congratulations to the Chiefs and the 49ers making it this far. Hope it's a great game. I hope you guys enjoy Super Bowl Sunday for Super Bowl 54 tomorrow night. So we're going to start with the Kansas City Chiefs, right? Andy Reid, head coach, going to start there. We know that Coach McDermott comes from the Andy Reid tree, right? So we thank Andy Reid for teaching our head coach how to be a great defensive mind or teaching him some tricks about how to be a good head coach. Because, hey, I'm going to be honest, I love our head coach right now. I hope you guys do too. But let's talk about some of these chief players who did have an impact on the Buffalo Bills organization. And I think it's easy to know where we're going to start. We're going to start with the guy who played for the Buffalo Bills last season, and that's LaShawn McCoy, right? Shady McCoy traded to the Buffalo Bills after the 2014 season by the Philadelphia Eagles. And in his three seasons with Buffalo, first two seasons, 2015, 20, I might have messed it up, but first two seasons, 2015, 2016, Pro Bowl seasons, over a thousand yards both seasons, but then you get into 2018 and he just did not look the same, right? Something was wrong. Don't know if age caught up to him as he is past that 30 number. Just something wasn't right. Had career lows in running, uh, running average yards per game or per carry, things like that. So, and uh, I think it was lowest touchdown output as well. So we cut him, right? Right before the season starts, a lot of Bills fans are surprised. We did a video right here, right after the news broke, talking about the surprise of cutting LaShawn McCoy. Whole offseason, we're talking about how LaShawn's still our guy, LaShawn's still here. And then we, the Buffalo Bills go and cut LaShawn McCoy, and he gets picked up by the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, this season for the Kansas City Chiefs, LaShawn McCoy has played in 13 games, rushing for four touchdowns and getting 465 rushing yards on 101 carries. That 465 rushing yards, a career low for LaShawn McCoy. But the four touchdowns, still more than he had the previous year with the Buffalo Bills. So he has had an impact on this Kansas City Chiefs team. Now, lately, he has been on the inactive list. So you have to look out for that tomorrow as we get close to game time. Are the Kansas City Chiefs going to make him active? As he is a veteran, right? He's been waiting for this moment for a long time. Will the Kansas City Chiefs, will Andy Reid give him a chance to shine on the biggest stage? Or will he be kept on the inactive list just due to the lack of production? Either way, due to the, the uh, effect he's had on the Kansas City Chiefs this year, the impact they've had for this team, he would get a Super Bowl ring if the Chiefs were to win tomorrow, even if he is listed as inactive. So you have to look out for that. And all these guys that I'm going to list, whether it be on the Chiefs or the 49ers, would get a ring. And guys, I want to do this before the video really started. I've already said one name. Quickly in the comment section, pause this video. Let me know how many players you think and coaches you think from the game tomorrow used to play or be a part of the Buffalo Bills organization. Do you think it's five, six, seven, eight, nine? How many how many players and coaches do you think were part of the Buffalo Bills organization at one time? Go ahead, pause the video or real quick leave a comment 
just put down a number say seven send eight send whatever it is leave a comment let me know what you guys think the next guy on the Chiefs that used to be a part of the Buffalo Bills organization actually was a second round draft pick in uh, 2016. That's Reggie Ragland, linebacker for the Kansas City Chiefs, was again a 2016 second round draft pick by the Buffalo Bills. He uh, missed the whole, he was traded in 2019 for a fourth round draft pick after missing the whole 2016 season with a torn ACL. Just wasn't clicking in Buffalo, right? So we do trade him out. Now he has had some effect some good things have happened for reggie ragland in kansas city so good for him you know we wish him nothing but the best this season for the uh, kansas city chiefs he's had 23 tackles and two sacks so you want to see better numbers from your linebackers but he has done decent for himself in kansas city so that's another guy that used to be Buffalo Bill that has a chance to get a ring tomorrow. He should be on the active roster tomorrow. We'll see what happens. We know one guy that will be on the active roster tomorrow that plays for the Kansas City Chiefs that used to play for the Buffalo Bills really has gotten a resurgence, whether it be with the Rams, who the Bills originally traded him to, or with the Kansas City Chiefs. Either way, he's done better for himself than he did in Buffalo. And that is former first-round draft pick Sammy Watkins. Guys, remember, Buffalo Bills traded up in the 2014 NFL draft to trade to to obtain Sammy Watkins and we just weren't seeing that kind of production that we wanted to see this rookie season was pretty good but after that he seemed to struggle so he was traded to the Rams we had a good resurgence there and then he was sent to the Chiefs and this season he has 52 catches in the regular season for 673 yards and three touchdowns all three touchdowns coming week one, but you saw the effect that Sam Watkins had last or two weeks ago, I should say, in the AFC Championship game. Expect him to possibly get open in this game due to the fact that Hunt will be double covered on the other side. So Sam Watkins might need to step up a little bit. Excuse me, and he's proving proven that he can. So those are the three guys on the Kansas City Chiefs that used to play for the Buffalo Bills. Talking again about LaShawn McCoy, Reggie Ragland, and Sammy Watkins. Now let's go over to the 49er side and see who used to play for the Buffalo Bills that is now playing for the 49ers. And the first guy we're going to talk about is a guy that didn't spend much time at all with the Buffalo Bills. In fact, if you blinked, you would have missed it. And this is back in 2018. Dante Johnson, a cornerback who now plays for the San Francisco 49ers, who will probably be inactive tomorrow. He used to play for the Buffalo Bills. He spent one month with the Buffalo Bills back in 2018. October 2nd to October 30th, he just never got off the practice squad. So you never saw him on the field. You never see, saw him suit up for the Buffalo Bills. But he was part of this organization for at least one month of a time. Just last or two years ago now in 2018, spent a month with the Buffalo Bills. Now with the 49ers, but same thing. Lack of production, lack of maybe talent. He doesn't have that it factor that it takes to be an NFL corner. So that has left him on the practice squad here. But hey, I wish I was on a practice squad somewhere. So obviously he has the talent to be a cornerback. Hopefully he could just learn the game a little bit better and maybe find some opportunities somewhere down the line. But he has not done that right now with the 49ers. Then the next guy on this list is Jordan Matthews. Another guy who's probably going to be inactive tomorrow. In fact, if you look at all three of the guys that used to play for the Buffalo Bills on the 49ers. None of them expected to play tomorrow in Super Bowl 54. But Jordan Matthews did spend a little bit of time with the Buffalo Bills after being traded with the Philadelphia Eagles uh, back in the beginning of the 2018 season, I believe it was. Spent a year with the Buffalo Bills. Did not have a great year. I believe it was on uh, injured for about three or four weeks in that time period as well. This year for the... Uh, for the San Francisco 49ers, he, ha he hasn't done much either. He's about the San Francisco 49ers actually dropping him earlier this season. The Eagles picked him back up, but the Eagles dropped him, and now he's back with the San Francisco 49ers. However, he finds himself mostly inactive at this time for the 49ers. The stats for Jordan Matthews as he at, when he was a Buffalo Bill played in 10 games in 2017, had 25 catches for 282 yards and one touchdown. So those were the stats for uh, his time in, in Buffalo just that one season after that trade with the Philadelphia Eagles. And then you have probably the biggest name uh, who used to be a former Buffalo Bill now a San Francisco 49er. That's Olympic uh, tryout Marcus 
Goodwin. We know that Marquise Goodwin, when he was with the Buffalo Bills, would always go in the summer and try out to be part of the Olympic team. You know how fast he is, guys. We know how good he was for the Buffalo Bills as a burner down the field. Really would open up the field. Unfortunately for Marcus Goodwin, he will not be playing in the Super Bowl. He is on the IR for the 49ers. He's been injured for a good part of this season. Spent uh was drafted by the Buffalo Bills in 2013, was a third-round draft pick, played four seasons in Buffalo, and then he signed as a free agent with the 49ers, where he spent the rest of his career so far. And again, he's had a pretty decent career, just unfortunately has found himself on the injury reserve for the Super Bowl tomorrow. So those are the six players that will be a part of the teams playing in tomorrow's uh, Super Bowl again. A lot of these guys not playing, whether it be due to injury like Marcus Goodwin or whether it be due to lack of uh, talent and lack of depth space when you're talking about Jordan Matthews and Dante Johnson for the 49ers. Same thing with Sean McCoy. Not sure about his status for tomorrow's game. But you know Reggie Ragland will be on the 53-man ro- or the 47-man roster for the Kansas City Chiefs. Same thing with Sammy Watkins. You expect him to be in there at wide receiver as well. So I'll go through those names again for the Chiefs. You got LaShawn McCoy, Reggie Ragland and Sammy Watkins for the 49ers it's Jordan Matthews Marcus Goodwin and Dante Johnson those are the six players who at one time were part of the Buffalo Bills organization who now find themselves in a position to get a Super Bowl ring also we have two coaches who joined that ranks as well both these coaches with the 49ers you got Stan Quan, uh, or am I saying that wrong? It's K-W-A-N, so I'm probably saying that wrong. Uh, Quan uh, played was a 49ers. He is the 49ers assistant special teams coach uh, in the NFL. He spent three seasons from 2010 to 2012 as the Buffalo Bills special teams coach. So he is now a 49er coach, and he has a chance again to get that Super Bowl ring. Also, Brian Fleury, 49ers defensive quality control coach, spent 2013 as the Buffalo Bills quality control coach he now finds himself with the 49ers also with a chance to get a ring guys so if you're looking at former buffalo bills and who you want to cheer for well a lot of guys a lot of buffalo bills fans like the sean mccoy and there's no reason to say we didn't like him again two pro bowl seasons while he was with us sammy watkins we can do without right reggie ragland i have no beef with reggie as he was traded to the kansas city chiefs it was a front office decision so if you're looking at uh, better players that you have to go with the kansas city chiefs with the sean mccoy and reggie ragland jordan matthews marcus goodwin Dante Johnson, none of them really stuck. I mean, I know we like Marcus Goodwin, right? But none of those guys are even playing in tomorrow's game. At least tomorrow you got Ragland and Watkins playing for the Kansas City Chiefs. So if you're looking at the Buffalo Bills saying, who do I cheer for? Which guys do I cheer for? Which guys used to play for this team? Those are the guys you want to cheer for, which probably means, again, you're probably cheering for the Kansas City Chiefs. But whether you're cheering for the Chiefs or the 49ers, guys, I hope you enjoy the game tomorrow. I will be getting on here, at least trying to get on here tomorrow, Super Bowl Sunday, to give you all my Super Bowl prediction. I'll let you know who I think is going to win, why I think they're going to win, and I'll even give you a final score prediction. So if you plan on being part of that video, tell me what your final score is going to be there. If not, leave your final score in the in the video that I just did here. Again, guys, thank you for joining me on this edition of Believe Your Stock. I hope you all enjoy your Super Bowl Sunday. I hope you all enjoying Super Bowl weekend. I'll talk to you all soon. Until I do, go Bills.